Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rich Solar Talk. Here at Rich Solar, all our panels go through rigorous testing to ensure each customer has the best quality solar products. However, if you would like to test your new Rich Solar panel yourself, I've got an easy method you can try at home. For this video, we're going to be using a multimeter to test our panels. You can find these at most hardware stores or online. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Rich Solar Mega 200 Watt 12 volt panel. Before you test your panels, make sure they're set up in optimum conditions. Clear skies, sun shining, and have your panels angled towards the sun and not laid flat. If you lay the panels flat, you'll lose roughly 50% efficiency. Keep in mind the ideal angle of the panel will vary based on the time of day. Before we test our panel with our multimeter, we're going to want to check what measurements we're looking for. And to do that, we're going to want to look at the back of our panel at the spec sheet. I have it printed out right here. The measurements we're going to want to look at are the open circuit voltage or VOC for voltage and short circuit current or ISC for amperage. As you can see here for the Mega 200 panel, we're going to want to look for 24.3 volts and 10.2 amps. Keep in mind that the values you see might not necessarily be what you get when you test as these values are only achieved in a controlled environment used for testing. First, let's test the voltage. First, you're going to want to set your meter to voltage. So here I'll show you the settings for testing voltage. You'll want to switch it to the V with these squiggle lines and make sure that you switch it from AC to DC as indicated by a solid line with three dashes underneath. Now let's test our panel. To do so, you're going to want to insert the negative lead into the negative cable on the panel that looks like so. Then you're going to want to take the positive lead and put that into the other cable, like so. As you can see, we're getting 21.74 volts, which is perfect for our testing conditions. Now we're going to want to test amperage. And if you have this type of meter where it has an amperage plug, you're going to want to switch the plug over when testing amperage and then set it over to the amperage setting. And also, don't forget to switch it to DC. And to test amperage, we're going to do the exact same thing we did with voltage. Insert the negative lead into the negative side of the cables and the positive lead into the positive side. And as you can see, we're getting a little over 10 amps, which is what we saw on our spec sheet. If you want to minimize risk of injury, you can put a towel over the panel until you've inserted the leads, and when you're ready to take the readings, remove it. And there you have it. That's how you test your rich solar panel with a multimeter. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call us or send us an email. Have a solar day.